<laughs> That's right. We're back. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yes, sir. We we are back. The good news, news. G N N G N Square. Man, I'm telling you what. It's been about a minute been about a minute or two since we've done one of these. So, I've had uh, many, many requests to bring back the good old good news news. So, here you go. I know you missed me, Aww. and I appreciate it. I appreciate those of you that do watch these videos. So, this one's for you. Let's get into it right now, baby. Story number one. Boom! Tell me a story, tell me a story, tell me a story. Remember All right, so story number one comes out of Utah. So, Brooke Kelly of Emory County, Utah, actually spotted her sanitation worker holding the American flag that she had incidentally thrown away uh, after it was damaged during a storm. During a storm. She thought that uh, not only was she impressed by the fact that he uh, he took the time to do this, but she was a little bit embarrassed because yeah, she just didn't realize she she'd done what she did. Um, and and actually, she's a wife of a veteran. You kidding me, right? So that was uh, that made things even worse for her. But that's okay. Um, she made sure to make it a point to show others, show friends on social media what this man had done. Uh, his name is actually Don Gardner, and uh, he is actually a Marine veteran. I am Gunnery Sergeant Hartman, your senior drill instructor. From now on, you will speak only when spoken to, and the first and last words out of your filthy sewers will be, sir. Do you maggots understand that? Sir, sir yes, sir. Mr. Gardner stated that you know, many people had died under that flag, and he had done this before, but actually got caught this time around. So this is something that we, we really uh, need to see more of. More patriotism, more respect and love for the American flag. Folks, we live in the greatest country in this world. We have freedoms that most people can't even imagine. Many, many, many men and women died for that flag. So it deserves your respect, my respect, everyone's respect and uh, even though you have the right to stomp on that flag you know those men and women that died actually fought for your freedom to stomp on that flag well that doesn't mean it's right wrong 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 you're wrong you're wrong you're wrong so show respect to the red white and blue so Mr. Gardner, hats off to you, sir. Thank you for your service, and thank you for preserving old glory. All right, that's it for story number one. Moving on to story number two. Tell me a story, tell me a story, tell me a story. Remember All right, what? story number two comes out of right here in good old North Carolina. So the U.S. Coast Guard uh, rescued a dog that was lost overboard off the coast of North Carolina. The crew was conducting law enforcement missions in the area when they got a call about a vessel that had lost their dog, Mila, overboard in the Pamlico Sound. Uh, in a short time after that report came in, the crew members had spotted movement in the water and realized that it was Mila swimming towards the boat. Uh, so they, they met her halfway and pulled her aboard. And you know what? Mila got the VIP treatment when she got on board. Thankfully, she wasn't injured, and uh, they were able to reunite her with her owners. So uh, the, the Coast Guard is actually quoted as saying, we want to congratulate Mila on being a good girl and an amazing doggy swimmer. 
I'm sure her owners were more than relieved to, to get their beloved Milo back. Uh, you know, obviously we've got our pets around our house and, and man, it's amazing how much a part of their family they become. Uh, congratulations to the Coast Guard. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Thank you for saving Miss Mila. All right. Good stuff so far. Moving on to story number three. Tell me a story. Tell me a story. Tell me a story. All righty. So story number three comes out of Clay, New York, where an off-duty EMT saves a choking toddler. She was actually in the right place at the right time. So... Mother began screaming in the restaurant when her three-year-old daughter was choking and actually turning blue. Danielle Benz, who has been an EMT with the Western Area Volunteer Emergency Services, immediately took action. So Danielle grabbed the toddler and began administering back blows uh, to dislodge the cheese stick that was actually blocking her airway. She actually recalled that the mom was standing up and the child was slumping out of her chair. I knew I needed to get over there and help the child for this mother. So children below the age of five are actually the most at risk for choking injury. Uh, the best thing to do is to make sure that you have someone call 911 uh, while trying to administer the life-saving technique, uh, firmly patting the child on the back. So interesting story here uh, before I get into that. Thank you, Danielle Benz, for your duty and service. Thank you for saving this young child. Thank God you are in the right place at the right time. Now, the story, the choking story. Tammy Brock, my wife, Tammy Brock, uh, is the world's worst. She panics. We'll, we'll be in a restaurant. She'll hear a child, a small child, cough, and it's like, oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, my goodness. Anyway, uh, Ashlyn, my daughter, who is now nearly 25, at the time, was, uh, I'd say she's around two years old. Uh, I'm, in, I'm in the bathroom getting ready for work, and I was on night shift at the time, so I'm in there brushing my teeth. Got the old foam all in the mouth. Tammy comes sprinting in there. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, she's choking. Throws the child in my arms, and she's clearly not breathing, right? So I've got Ashlyn under my arm. Tammy takes off running into the other room and begins to call 911. Tammy takes off running towards the kitchen uh, where we have a baby gate blocking it off. She doesn't clear the baby gate. is sprawled out on the floor. I come running around the corner. Ashlyn's still under my arm. Foam coming from my mouth. In walks my sister-in-law, Terry. Right? That's the scene she walks into. At that point, Ashlyn is breathing and she's fine. Thank God it worked out. Thank God for this off-duty EMT. Thank God for all the EMTs and their service to the community. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that one. Okay, folks. So that's it for this episode of the Good News News. GNN! GN Square. Uh, I did get to say at the beginning of the video, but if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so now. Click the little icon in the corner. I never can figure out where it's at, but it's in one of those corners click on it, subscribe to the channel. If you have a Google account, all you do is just log into it and set it up for alerts. It'll let you know when I upload new videos. So if you want to watch the videos. At any rate, I assume you do since you're here watching this one. All right. Thank you guys for watching my videos. I know it's been a while. I know I'm uh, all over the place, but I do always appreciate your support. Hope you know that I love every single one of you. I'm praying for you, and God bless you. We'll put another one out soon, going to the beach. I'll do some videos there, do some vlogging there. So, hope you enjoyed this one. Love you guys. Peace.